want to welcome everybody to an awesome day in Florence, Alabama. I'm James Mack, and uh, I will be your host today. So everybody in wonderful video land, let's enjoy today. Let's start talking about Christmas and Christmas shopping today. So on my adventures, I left out this morning, and I had some plans, and I decided to go by Walmart. You know, uh, I took a big risk today and spent a lot of money. Spent more than I planned to and went more places than I planned to, but I got in that shopping mode and I just could not control myself. Just couldn't. So where I wound up first was at Walmart, okay? And there were some good enough deals going on there. I was on a mission to get in and out. I mean, it was a tactical recon, military covert operations of in and out. And I did well until I came to the Lego aisle, which y'all know I have a Lego problem. It's really not an issue, except I'm being dishonest about that. And this guy jumped out and grabbed me, all right? And typically this product is $70, and it was, I think it was marked down to like 49 no, 56 It was 56 bucks. So I could not pass up the opportunity on this great guy right here. Is that not awesome? And I'm trying to do the best I can because I'm running two devices here. I've got my mobile device and then I've got the computer device. And I really can't see the mobile device and know if I'm really square on screen. So I'm doubling up here because on this one, the mobile device. I plan on using that to go to auto live and everything. And then the computer is redundant and back up. Anyhow, back to the shopping. Uh, I'm still trying to become professional with me presenting on the videos when it comes down to shooting and some of the technicalities. I'm not too bad. But yeah, this is the Lego City Police Station. This is a awesome set. It's got some pretty good amount of pieces to it, which is one thing I like to look for. That's 668 pieces. All right. The Lego set say 60316 Police Station. I love these buildings. I always have fire stations, schoolhouses, businesses, police stations. I've got many old school um, ones that we can go over a whole nother time. So... That was Walmart's trip, and I think that there is, yes, one other Walmart grab, and I could not turn this guy down. I think it was $24, $27 out the door, and I'm a big, for Christmas time, and, okay, y'all that love me out there, I love cheese and sausage logs. I mean, check out this product. This was cool. It's like, I do believe it was $24 out the door. Uh, it wasn't any more than $27, and it was a good deal. It's made by Hillshire Farm, and it's a nearly 30-ounce package. You've got cheddar, Swiss, cheese, wheat crackers. Um, there's two logs of cheddar in here. we got a summer sausage times three and more wheat crackers. These are lightly salted for those of you that have sodium issues. Yeah, I mean, I bought more stuff at Walmart, but nothing really to talk about. A few food items, my basic necessities I like. So our next stop was over at Big Lots. And here's where my next hints, you know, insider information for y'all. And if you're not busy over the next few days, and primarily today, get over to Big Lots. They have a Christmas sale going on, mainly in the Christmas uh, aisles. Um, there's a lot of ornaments, but I mean, it's getting hit hard. You're talking about 30 to 50% off. Maybe I should shop live video in there, uh, in there, but then again, I don't know how much they would have liked that. But anyways, so I picked up all these wonderful, colorful Christmas balls and then they're double stacked in here as well. And it says 50 shatterproof ornaments. Look at this price. 25 bucks. I don't know if y'all can see that due to the glare, but that was only $25. 
at 50% off. That was $12.50 before tax. That was awesome. And then where else I couldn't help myself because I'm very nostalgic, all right? This is also from Target. I could not escape. Uh, so we're switching over to Target now. I apologize. That was the only item I bought the Christmas ornaments from Big Lots. I was tempted to spend a whole lot more money. But as y'all can see, the boxes in the background is mostly Christmas content I've already had. Don't judge. It ain't all put out. And if you got issues and complaints about me getting it out, get over here, volunteer, and help me set it up, right? But we ended up getting this really cool 10 truck. I love these things, you know? Now, this one's a little bit cheaper. It's a little bit more kind of primitive made, but it's still cool. You know, it's still eclectic, and uh, it was 10 bucks. You know, I, I could not turn this down. It's just sitting out in the clear open at Target. And it's like, would you grab all of me and take me home? And I'm like, yes, why not? So we came out with that. And then this is one of my grand finales, although I'll, I'm not going to do it last. And this is something I've been foaming at the mouth for. And so I saw it at Target before, and I needed to save my money because I was hurting last month, and I didn't want to take the financial risk, which I'm doing better now, obviously, right? Um, and I got fearful that they were going to run out of this product. And then I went and researched on the Lego website to make sure that if I, everything else failed, I could get from there. And they're like, no, we got it on back order. So I got in fear. I'm like, I wonder if this product is going to be available at Target. And here's what I got. Ba boom It's Santa's Visit by Lego. And... It says for ages 18 plus. Man, if I was a five, six year old kid or even beyond, I could handle this. They'd be like, no, you got to be 18 for this. Don't let me drop the F bomb and, and, and tell you what to do with that. So, this is uh, series 10 to 93. It was $99 before tax. Cool. Um, 1,445 pieces. And this is a, a Christmas themed, it's a Santa's visit. Um, this will become some of my standard Christmas decoration. I'll get it in one of my uh, excluded Lego rooms to catch all. And then I'll pull it out and display it for Christmas. And then on the back here, they got a little bit better breakdown of the individual scenes. I'll get this thing built for you guys and get some still pictures on Facebook. So there's that cool thing, which I thought was awesome. Then we'll go back and talk about Target. And I ended up getting three products from Target that I have as an examples here. Now, two of these were from last year. But after this year's pick, I decided to include the other two that I thought were kind of cool. So we'll talk about the older two first from last year, which is wrapping paper. Really cool stuff here. This is nostalgic. All right. Y'all are seeing this. This is a Christmas story wrapping paper. And I, I couldn't help myself last year. I remember seeing this product out. I'm like, I got to have that. I think they're like six bucks on the tube. And there's a good amount of paper on there. Because I've already used like, I think there was a third more on here. The paper's a little bit thin. It likes to rip. But if you take your time, correct your corners. You know how to hide and patch stuff up. It's really not that bad. Everything's made in China now, so you're going to get shitty paper. Just be straight up with you. Then we'll go on to the nostalgic. Gotta have them. Why I love them is because he's well found. Okay? And this is Elf, I think it's called the movie. You know, the actual name of the character is Buddy. You know, I've seen it. It's hilarious. I like it. It's more kind of... On the lines of for kids which i am one but the reason why is that and this brings up another idea a total another idea you know will ferrell and new uh 
wrapping paper. I just had a nostalgic idea. Says we need more Christmas. I need more Christmas and more Christmas paper. I believe, and I'm gonna contact you whoever's got rights for Will Ferrell and some of the other stuff. We need more cowbell Christmas paper. It either exists or it needs to exist. But there's my humor for the day on that. You know, those are the two older ones. Number three. They had a hobby log. The color's kind of off. It's more got like a dot matrix appeal to it. I spotted it when I got it, but I still had to have it. It was $4.29 on the roll. There's a pretty good piece of bit of paper there, too. But what's important of it is National Lampoon's Family Christmas. The Chevy Chase on it. That's one of my favorite, you know, stand-up comedians and Saturday night personalities. Uh, I just love Mr. Chase. I mean, he's a great personality, phenomenal actor, just a good person and somebody to enjoy. And anything National Lampoon, I'm all over. I collect whatever. That's a lot of what I got for now. Um, I've been picking a lot lately. One thing, I, two things I pulled out of my shop today that I just wanted to bring home real quick, and then we'll finalize from here. Is that this is a really cool railroad lantern. Man, it's just not cool. I mean, look at this product. You know, I picked this sometime last year at auction. Um... This isn't like the OEM, like real, real. This is a, you know, reproduction, but somebody handcrafted this. It's tack welded together here and there, then kind of hand painted, but nostalgic, cool. Uh, things are wall hangers, but this not necessarily, unless you've got a long, strong arm, you know, uh, hook that comes off, you can hang it there. I'm going to see when mount this, and I'm tempted to do some kind of a light here because this lid right here and you come in and I can get like a battery element in here which I'll probably do or if you wanted to you could put a you know condensate bulb inside of here and run a wire back up off the edge of here and snake up here and hang it from the ceiling so you can either do battery LED or you could do heck you can put a candle in this but I don't know versus how airtight that the candle would actually stay lit. But there's some cool ideas for that guy. And then one of my prize possessions. It's something else I picked from auction. It's a local nostalgic piece. And y'all that know my humor and understand me will get this. And it is a wall hanger and it does go inside the house. And look at this. All right. This is nostalgic for our area. And it fits my personality. It says, do not clean fish in this area or put dead fish in garbage cans. Sheffield Parks and Recreation Department. All right. So I ended up getting this inside my auction network. It's fun. I love to do this stuff. And I think on the lantern, I have 30, 40 bucks in it. The signage. I think I got like three or four bucks in that sign, you know. And resell on something like that, when I carry it in the store, 40 plus dollars. I mean, something like that, here locally, will get 40, 50 plus dollars if I'm doing an outside um, sales barn location, Elgin 101 Crossroads. I won't let that sell for less than 50 bucks because it's an attraction piece. It'll get people over you know, towards your table and all that. Um, and I carried that one and I actually carried 75 on it because I had no intentions on selling it whatsoever. And I don't think anybody was going to step up to 75. It would surprise me and it never sold, but it drew people in. It's red and white, primary restaurant, attractive colors. So that's what we're going to limit our conversation on today. I hope that y'all have enjoyed all this. Uh, like and share my video uh, at your leisure and uh, you know comment okay tell me some of your cool deals I want to hear about y'all just as much as what I'm 
having contents about. So with any other further ado, peace out. Happy holidays and have an awesome one.